was struggling. I didn't know how I was going to turn to make this meet. Well, yeah, it brought it back to me here. Paul did it. And you can sit there if you want to. I need somebody to get out. To start breathing, bro, like you lost your ever loving night. But you believe you're on nobody that put a part God did it. Let me help free you. You will begin to mature in the level of God where you don't waste your time trying to impress crazy Negroes for your next miracle. You miss your shot. I ain't got time to kiss up to you. I ain't got time to beg you to do nothing. I ain't got time to ask you to borrow no money for you. If you don't give it to me, I'm still going to make it. If you don't look after my teeth, I'm still going to survive. And I need somebody to bring out the pet dog. to the real people in the canal who said, Pastor, there were some times in my life that God had to force me to trust them. He forced me uh, to get on my knees and pray when well, I didn't know where to turn. He forced me uh, to get on my knees and open up my Bible that was collecting dust for the last two years. Uh, he forced me uh, to cut some crazy people out of my life uh, who were doing nothing but tearing me down. I need somebody to get out uh, to thank God all the time that God had to force you uh, to get yourself to get a thank you, Lord, uh, but I Jesus. Angels just to praise him. 
We love you, Lord. We, we worship you. Yeah? And that's why some of you get now. I'm more blessed than other people. Y'all look at me get now. Because you know why I'm praising God. We're going to win your pocket. I need some, I need some bro- praise to get on your feet and praise God right now. Time. I need some praise to praise to get on your feet right now. Time. And say, Lord, I'm going to praise you. And dialogue between Job and God. <clears throat> you know that Job was a man who was after God's heart. He, he was an upright man. He was a man who trusted God even in the worst times of adversity. And here in this small, quick, intimate conversation and dialogue between Job and God, God has to take some time out and remind one of his most faithful people how the good he can be to him. Look at the text he says. He says, who provides for the raven? It's pray. It's pray. It's pray. It's pray. Uh, it's pray. It's pray. A raven, a raven, go to my sermon side. A raven, y'all, is, 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 is a small, small bird. It's known as one of the most common birds known to man. He's saying, if I can provide for this bird, surely I can provide for you. I don't want to talk to him now. But that's why some of you here right now ought not get jealous of people who are getting blessings the wrong way. If, if, if God can allow a drug dealer to get money, it's surely he can allow his child to get some money. I need somebody to thank God right now. 